Good afternoon. It's about 1.30 here on Thursday. I'm not going to mow today, I don't think. It's only about 53 degrees. It might be 60 today. Um, but honestly, it's probably still too wet. It's actually not bad. But look at all this crap. All these leaves get stuck down in the mud. Yeah, it gets squishy out here. It's like living in a swamp. But these are those bushes I did the other day. There ain't one leaf in there now. They all had to come out with forceps. Isn't that cute? So I think we've got uh, lunch today with Joe and um, Luke, actually. He's on his way from Pittsburgh. We'll be seeing him here in just a few moments. Super Sports showed up yesterday. I don't remember if I showed you last night. I'm pretty sure I did. I did. Um, so I may put this thing in the air and pull the rears and could have those fitted today. Depending on what my schedule looks like in addition to my tire guy. That's not Avis. That's Sterling. Remember this car? Drove across Pennsylvania to get it last July for his dad. So hey! I, I sold the Avis and yeah. bought a new M5. You got up to a facelift. Yeah. With less miles, too, because yours, yours had too many miles. This too one's many miles. You just hit 101. Yeah. Right? I'll just give a little, little rev. Yeah. You got Dynan Men. I almost said Dynan Men. Wow. That's different. Denon. Yeah. So. That was yeah, not on V32, so we're putting it on V32 now. But this is Luke's dad's 01 or 02 Sterling car with 101. Mark IV. A little dirty right now, but OE wheels, Continent, continental tires. I don't know why I said it like that. Dynan exhaust, um, and Ladia. Beautiful condition all around. We found that E92 M3 in Silverstone. This guy's look at it never Guess weighs. what? I have more torque than you. Yeah, yeah, he's got more horsepower. 414. Yeah, yeah, that engine's a wreck though. Good evening. Today turned into tire day very quickly. So Luke came over from Pittsburgh. He's on Easter break or whatever from John Carroll. Uh, brought his dad's car though too. We updated the nav software. Joe came down and as we're sitting in here in the garage with Joe, I hear a hissing sound. It's like, what is that? So we locate it to the rear left wheel well of Luke's dad's M5 and take the wheel off and determine that there's some sort of a nail in the tire. So we took it over to the place in Streetsboro. Um, they dismounted the tire, weren't too busy, took a look in there and found that there was not only a nail, uh, it wasn't a nail, it was an actual hook. Like a hook, the part, the top part of a clothes hanger, it was ridiculous. So um, it was close to the sidewall, but they were actually able to patch it, so we saved that tire. But also noted that the build date on those tires was 2011, so all four of them our six-year-old Continental DWS. So we ordered, or his dad ordered Pilot Super Sports. They're coming here tomorrow. So we'll get some Super Sports on Luke's dad's car. We had about an hour and a half before that closed and I wanted to be productive. So I took over the new Super Sports on my car, had them mount those on these tires. I have the old one. They have to go back to the tire rack for the warranty. So here are the old ones. The new ones are on the car. Well, we were, well the wheels were off, I did the full detail and cleaning. Um, got all the dust off the barrel, outside 2 Z6 and Z8 wax, they look fantastic. Cleaned everything and awesome, so that's done. Kind of done, I have to send the other ones back and see what they can do about the um, refund, but otherwise it's done. Um, Nick came up tonight, brought his dad's E60 M5, before that he had his E39, he went back and switched halfway through. I I had dinner with Luke and Joe at Three Palms. That was fantastic. I have been there forever. Um, busy day. And then also when I was doing the wheels on my car, I did the mud flaps too. I replaced both of those and have them actually attached now with proper, ex proper acceptors and screws instead of pop rivets and stuff that would fall out and puncture the tires. So that is taken care of too. Anyways, it's 3 o'clock. I'm going to bed. We'll talk tomorrow on whatever the hell, Friday. Good night.